Number 14, indicate what type or types of reaction each of the following represents. And then we have letter A. In this reaction, we have H2O, which is a gas, is reacting with carbon, which is a solid, and it will produce or yield out CO2, which is a gas, and then plus hydrogen gas, and hydrogen is that diatomic. It can't exist by itself. Okay, so like always, let's just see what's happening with colors, right? So it looks like I had a compound here, so I'm just going to say this one was a compound. And this one was reacting with a single element, right? It was just reacting with C. So it was a single element. Element. And what basically happened? Well, I made CO, which is another compound. Com compound. And then what happened? Oh, well, hydrogen got kicked out, right? Hydrogen was in the compound, but it looked like carbon said, mm -mm, I want to be with oxygen, right? Not you. I want to be with oxygen. That's why it's CO. Seems like the carbon said, kick the, oxygen, uh, kick the hydrogen right out. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> but anyway, um, the hydrogen is all by itself, right? It's a single element. It's, it's literally just H. Yeah, there's two of them, but it's only one element. So I'm just going to say it's a single element. Single element. This type of reaction is a very specific name. I'm just going to put this a little bit in the middle here. And if we just look at it via colors, we can see the same exact thing here. We had hydrogen mixed with oxygen and then carbon. So they all have their different colors. But then it looks like carbon wanted to be with oxygen. And unfortunately, hydrogen got kicked out of the mix. The carbon came in and said, ooh, I want to be with oxygen, which said, oops, you can't be with oxygen. I want to be with oxygen, and you have to be by itself. If you see this idea of a single element across the board, right? Single element on the left-hand side, on the reactant side, and a single element on the product side. This is called a single replacement reaction. So there's a complete difference between a single replacement, or maybe they call it a single displacement. So that would be teacher or uh, professor specific. I usually hear it as single replacement, but maybe they call it single displacement. But just key in mind that for a single replacement, you have to have a single element as your start and a single element as your end, okay? The difference between single replacement and double replacement is that you have compounds all across the board. You would have four specific compounds. Uh, we did one like that. Go check a couple of uh, questions back. There was one that had a double uh, replacement one, if you want to check that one out. Now, let's see if there's any other type of reaction that this uh, reaction is called by. So I'm just going to erase this arrow, and maybe I'll just get rid of this, but I'll put this back. Okay. So now we just have to specifically look at some charges. Now, just know in general that all elements by themselves without a single charge up at the top. So you see how this carbon is by itself. It's not, it's a single element, right? All single elements by themselves have a zero charge. So the carbon would be a zero charge. And this hydrogen, even though there's two of them, they're just with each other, right? They're not with any other element. So this one would classically, uh, you know, be by itself as well. All free elements or all diatomics in their natural state exist as zero charges. But now remember, guys, when we make compounds, remember that we always had charges, right? That's how we formed a compound. We took the charges 
and we crisscross them down. Remember the crisscross method. So this had to have a charge, right? And technically hydrogen is a plus one and oxygen is a negative two. And then carbon would, uh, and carbon and oxygen here would also have a charge, right? In this case, oxygen is negative two and carbon would be plus two. Don't worry about how to find these charges. The only thing right now is just know that one has to be positive and one has to be negative. The key here is that let's look at hydrogen. Do you see how hydrogen went from being a plus one to a zero? That changed charge. Do you see how the carbon went from a zero to a plus two, right? A plus in general, a change of charge. Anytime that you have a change of charge, the type of reaction is called oxidation reduction. So you actually have two answers here. It's a single replacement by looking at the actual atom swapping, but it's an oxidation reduction reaction by looking at the charges and seeing if they change from reactant to product. So just be careful, okay? So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you would like to. That would help us out greatly and it gets the word out there that, you know, the service exists. And I thank you for that so much. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have an awesome day.